take the light B out with the light speed battery pack and the NXT display out for its first ride around the neighborhood and all we're gonna do is we're gonna calibrate the speedometer that's it that's all we're gonna do nothing nothing fancy here okay um, it's not fully fully charged yet but one thing I gotta do one thing I gotta do is plug the phone into this cable that's been dangling all over the place okay the charger still works that's good Okay, we're at 73 volts. Not super duper high, but that'll get us around the neighborhood. Um, okay, so. Whoa, the regen is really. Oh, yeah, it feels like it's really weak. Is it in sport mode? Huh. Okay, well, anyway. is really weak. I, I need to do something about that. But it's not really smooth on the takeoff either. I, I think it's something's up with the regen. Let me let me see if I can fix the regen real quick. The regen is real finicky on this. Okay, that's how it's supposed to be. Well, it works. That's kind of weird. Whoa. It, like, doesn't stop when it goes. Um, I don't know, man. Yeah, the throttle was a little weird on this, man. So. The regen is really weak, man. It's super weak. Like and it, it takes off and it doesn't stop, you know? It's kind of weird. Um, all right, anyway, we're gonna calibrate the speedometer. That's all we're gonna be doing. So there, there's still some test riding issues, man. I don't know if I can just ride this on the street like I did before. I, I had the, uh, I had the light speed battery. I, I mean, I had the uh, egg rider set up tuned pretty damn well, I have to say, you know. And this feels like it's it's not as good, well tuned as it was before. The speedometer on it it says it's reading way too high, man. Um, so we're going twenty. It says we're going twenty two, but we're only going fifteen. So it's it's reporting we're going way too fast. All right. And the regen is just super weak. I have to use the regular brakes. Okay. I'm gonna turn my light on too. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and we're gonna go to bike metrics. And if it says we're going, if it says we're going way faster than we're we're going, we need to increase the we need to de increase the wheel diameter. So we're gonna go. Let's say let's go let's go 600. Okay, I'm gonna save that. Okay. See if that did anything. All right. oh, 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 I have a dead bike. It's not doing anything. Hmm. It was running fine when we were on the thing, man. Oh. Put the light on it. It, it doesn't like the light being on. That's really odd. Why would it do that? Yeah, that's really weird. It will not work with the light on. Okay, that's an issue. I don't know what happened, man. It, it was working fine before, dude. When the light is on, 
Yeah, it gets getting all crazy and stuff. With the light on. Okay, let's not ride with the light on <laughs> right now. Okay, it says we're going 25 and we're going 12 miles an hour. That's uh, that's a no go. We're going way slower. It's uh, it's not running so hot, man. All right. Um, I felt the bike go backwards a little bit too. Mm. This is gonna need a lot of tuning, dude. Let's try making the wheel diameter smaller. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, there you go. That's a lot better. Oh, that's right on. That's spot on right there almost. Okay, now it says we're going too slow. We're going too slow now. The region is so weak. Um. Okay, so we're gonna go put uh we're gonna go move this a little bit. Move it to say three hundred. Okay, so three hundred twelve right now. It's kind of hard to adjust the numbers, man. You can't just like put a number in. Okay. All right, again, so it is working. It's a good thing, but we can't get it working. We have to get it working thing. All right, that's pretty much spot on right there, huh? See if we can get to 25 or 20. Okay, it's pretty close, but it's still it's lagging behind a little bit. So what do we want to do? Yeah, it's it's still it's lagging behind a little bit, so I think we're gonna wanna maybe bring the wheel size down a little bit. Oh, it didn't change. Two eighty five. Let's try two eighty five. Twenty miles an hour. It says we're going. We're really going twenty-eight miles an hour. That's way off. Way off. Well, look at this. It's pretty nice colors. Okay. We'll do two fifty-seven. So if we're making the wheel smaller, we're making it spin faster, yeah? Yeah. Hopefully it's in mile per hour. Yeah, okay. All right, here we go again. Maybe we can mess around with the gear ratio, maybe? I feel like that's, that wheel size is way off. It should not be that size. According to uh, the, the numbers I was plugging in before, we're not that size. But anyway. Okay, we're going tw about 25 and it says we're going 18. That is way off. Man, the region is just so weak. Okay, anyway, there, lots of tuning has to be done on this bike, man, apparently. It's not ready to be ridden out here. Um, let's try 400. I'm uh, just plugging in numbers, man. Okay. Okay, now it says we're going too fast. 
going faster than it says. Okay. We're gonna go down again. Maybe let's do 367. Okay, well, you kind of get how the process goes. Just kind of ride it and then change the number. Just try to get it. Try to get it the speed you want, you know. Uh, so now it says we're going too fast again. So we need to move the diameter size down a little bit. Oh, no, it looks like it's spot on. Yeah, it is spot on. Okay. So now we're going like... 25 and it says 26. That's pretty close. That's pretty close. Okay. It's kind of slow updating. 25 and 25. Okay, yeah. That seems about right. I, what I should have done is use my GPS, man, instead of my phone. Maybe my, my phone might be off a little bit. Yeah, the, um, the, uh, the display updates a lot faster than the thing, but it looks like I got it pretty much spot on. It's about like about a mile an hour off, which is okay. Let's go to 30. Yeah, yeah, spot on. There you go. 30 and 30. Nice. Now we got no regen, man. We gotta find out how we can jack up our regen. Okay, so hey, that was a uh, that was a demonstration. That was the first ride with the 72 volt pack, and uh, I I'm a little uh, well. It doesn't seem like it's much faster than it was before. I, I think it's probably because the battery is really low on charge. We probably should charge the battery more. Um, I'll charge it. I'll fully charge it tomorrow um, or overnight. Um, but. Uh, so I, I just fixed the speedometer. Hopefully it works. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the bike off and I'm going to see if it retains those settings, hopefully. Okay. So I'm going to shut the bike off. And for whatever reason, it doesn't work with the headlights on, man. I got to ask that one about that. What's going on? Okay. Yeah, it's my my speedometer is the 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 NXT display is much it it's much faster responding than my uh, my phone so that's the problem with it. Let's see if we can get it up to thirty. It's up there pretty fast, sort of, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, it's not stopping. It's not stopping. It's just, okay. Next thing I have to figure out is how to, how to jack up the regen, man, because this is not enough. And it doesn't work with the lights on. Oh, there we go. It works with the lights on now. Yeah, that was kind of weird. It wasn't working with the lights on earlier. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's getting all crazy and stuff with the lights on. The speed is pretty much spot on. Holy moly. Woo. Okay, I, I see there I see it does have regen because when I when I uh, it was like 70 it went to 71.9. See there's the multi sag. Yeah, it goes 71.9 when I put full regen, but it's just not, the regen is like just super freaking weak, man. 
Yeah, it feels like kind of herky-jerky. So I'm not really sure how all the tuning and stuff is working, but... What I'm afraid of is just going to suddenly just start taking off on me, man. <laughs> What's going on here? Holy moly! <laughs> man, does it just start pulling? But it doesn't pull right away. You know? The throttle feels really jerky. The throttle feels really jerky. Okay. Okay, so I just make us just gonna see if we can get the regen working. But that was okay. That was the first ride with this with the light speed battery pack and the NXT display. Mm, I feel like I kind of want to move. Yeah, I want to move the display up a little bit. It looks like it's 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 working its way down. I need to tighten this more, I guess. Somehow. Um, yeah, it looks like the display has been moving forward or something, or moving moving back. Oops. My horn works. My turn signals work. Yeah, for whatever reason, it was getting all crazy with the light on earlier. Yeah, the fastest I'll go is like 30 miles an hour, man. Unless we're, over, or we're going over the speed limit. <laughs> okay, so Hayes Megas is going to try, uh, off camera, is going to try and get this regen jacked up. Because it is like super weak, man. Super weak. But uh, I, I have faith that the uh, the speedometer is the right... Oh, yeah, you know what we haven't tested? We haven't tested the eco mode. Let's put it in eco mode. Okay, it's in eco mode right now. So eco mode should limit us to 20... Whoa, man. It's really slow in eco mode. <laughs> okay, eco mode should limit us to 25 miles per hour max. So I'm going wide open right there. Okay, there you go. It's kind of... Slowing us a little bit. Okay, here we go. 25 miles per hour. Well, oh, I don't know why it does that, man. That has something to do with the regen, man. Yeah, it's it's a little it's a little wonky, man. It like gets on and off the throttle a little too fast, but there we go. It's working. I'm I'm going wide open throttle right now. And we're not exceeding 25 miles an hour, so that's cool. Speed L, speed L, I wonder what that means. Okay, eco mode test number two. Hopefully we can get to 25. It gets there so slow. It's like it's pulling the power back and forth. It's really herky-jerky. It's not really smooth, the, the, speed, the speed limiting. But it's doing it. I'm going wide open right now, and we're not exceeding 25 miles per hour, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to give it a regen right here. Slow it down. Okay, so yeah, the regen needs some work, man. I think it's the regen that's making this herky-jerky, man. Um, I had to play around with the uh, with the regen uh, cutoff or something. Okay, all right. Well, thanks for thanks for watching. Uh, I'm gonna go play around with the regen for a little bit, and then I'm gonna take it back and charge it. All right, here's my go. But just in case you're wondering, on the NXT display, the speed calibration, the wheel diameter is 367 millimeters with the super mo with the stock supermoto. Um, wheel set with the stock supermoto sprocket that's the 40 42 tooth sprocket got the 42 265 okay all right thanks for watching so it's all calibrated and stuff uh but the throttle is really wonky and the uh the region it, it needs tuning i i i felt this before when i was tuning the bsc controller when i was tuning the bsc controller before it, it was like this also so um there's a way to smoothen everything out. It, it just feels herky-jerky and stuff. I, I don't like it. So, 
so hopefully hopefully Hades Omega can get this thing back up to snuff uh, like how it was running before. It, I'm telling you, Hades Omega had this black run in really good before, man. And then uh, and then now I gotta I gotta redo everything again. That's that's the price you gotta pay for for doing this kind of mods and stuff. Okay. All right, Hades Omega. Out.